Hi, this is the fourth step in a five-part series for people who are new to Postman. Welcome! In this video, we're going to run a collection in the Postman app. We'll solidify our knowledge about sending requests in Postman, writing tests, and then see how to run a collection. Up to now, we've used the collection to group and organize our requests, but now you'll finally see why we call a Postman collection an executable description of an API. Make sure you're not using the Postman Chrome app, which is deprecated. You should be using the Packaged app for Mac, Windows, or Linux. For this series, I'm using the Postman standalone app for Mac OS X. I'm on version 6. Make sure you have a Postman account and you're logged in. Let's get started. For this example, we'll revisit the requests that we set up earlier using the Google Maps geocoding API and the Twitter API. We saved both of these requests to the same Postman collection and we added a couple tests to the Google request. If you remember how, take a minute and add a couple tests to the Twitter API now. Okay, so now we have a collection with two requests. Each request has tests. If we have any console log statements, we can go to the bottom left and click on this icon to open the Postman console before we run the collection. All right, let's do it. Click the chevron next to the collection name and hit the blue run button to open the collection runner in a new window. Verify that you have the correct collection and environment if you're using one and go ahead and hit run. You should see the request being sent and the tests running. Green means the test passed and red means the test failed. If we had any failures, we could filter by red and investigate. Click on the request name to drill down on the details. If we go back to the collection runner window, you can see that there's a few other options. You can select a different environment to run the collection against, like if you have different server configurations for local staging or production environments. You can increase the number of times that you'd like to run the collection, inject a time delay between each request that's run, Log, re log responses for debugging, upload a CSV or JSON file to test against a bunch of scenarios, and lastly the default setting is that running a collection in the runner won't permanently change your environment variable values. If you check this box here you can persist these updates. On the right side you can see a record of all the recent collection runs. Click back through to revisit the details. So we talked about running a collection in the Postman app using the collection runner, some fancy settings for the collection run, and digging deeper into the requests and tests. At this point, we can extract data from one request and chain it together to send in the next request. Keep watching to find out how. You're almost done.